I got sick this morning and my mind said, call Pastor Gucci, tell her what's happening with you. And I said, I ain't gonna call Pastor Gucci, I'm gonna come on and do what the Lord has said for me to do. And if I gotta leave and go to the ER, I'll do it then. Amen. 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 Sometimes the enemy wants to see how much you're gonna stand. And if you mean business, he'll try you. Just to see if you real or not. About y'all, but sometimes he'll try you. That's right. God, when I said try you, yes. just to see if you mean God for real or That's not. That's right. And I mean Jesus all the way. Not saying I won't make no mistake. Won't say things won't happen in life. Yes. But I'm pressing my way. Amen. Amen. And I don't know about you, but I want to see Jesus one day. Amen. 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 So I'm trying to pull off self every day and pull the flesh off every day. So I can see Jesus face to face. Before I get started, I'm just going to say a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you. Thank you for being in our midst right now. We pray, God, that you would get all glory out of what I say and do. I pray that you would hide me behind your cross. Let them see you and not me. Let them hear you, God, and not me. Speak a word and encourage your people on this day. God, we give you praise. We give you honor and all the glory belongs to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. amen. It is so, it is done. Amen. Amen. I, I got up. I got up and I said, Lord, what do you want me to say to these people? Amen. And he took me to 2 Kings. 2 Kings, the second chapter. 2 Kings, the second chapter. And that verse amen. 1. I don't know about you, but we're living in a strange time right yes, now. Yes, Lord. Yes. And everything seems off. Yes. I mean, and the devil is coming at the children as well as the adults. And it's so important for us to just pray with our children and cover them with his blood and give them, I, give them the knowledge, amen, that Cut Jesus came to save them, amen. Save us all. Amen. Amen. That's right. Sometimes we get so busy as adults. Yes. So we forget about dealing with the kids and salvation. Amen. 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 And so sometimes we gotta pause. Amen. Take a moment out. Yes. We understand what salvation is, but a lot of times our babies don't. That's right. Come on now. now. Amen. And sometimes you gotta have that conversation. Do you know the Lord? Yes. Amen. They sit in the midst, and sometimes when they're not in Sunday school, they miss. The message of Jesus. Yes, right. yes. That's, we got to pause. Amen. Amen. I, I preach the word, but let me deal with my own kids. Yes, yes. Make sure they know who God really is. Yes, Lord. Don't ever get too big to help your children Amen. understand they need a relationship right. with the Lord. Amen. 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 I don't care if you're 10 years old, you need to be able to have some type of relationship right. with the Lord. Amen. Amen. Because he don't want no one to perish. And no That's one needs right. no one. That's right. Regardless of age and regardless of color, God wants us to know him. Amen. amen. If you're there, can you say amen if you're all in second king? Amen. Amen. And it came to pass. When the Lord was about to take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind, that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgad. From Gilgad, mm -hmm. then Elijah said to Elisha, "Stay yes. here, please. Yes. For the Lord has sent me to on to Bethel." Yes. But Elijah said, "As the Lord oh, lives, yes. and I as have. your soul lives, I will not leave you." So they went yes. down to Bethel. Come on now. Now the sons of the prophet who were at Bethel came out of Elijah, Elijah, and said to him. Do you not know that the Lord will take away your master from over you today? Uh -huh. And he said, yes, I know. Keep silent. Amen. Then Elijah said to him, Elijah, stay here, please, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. Mm -hmm. But he said, as the Lord lives and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So they came to Jericho. Yes. 
I'm going to start right there. Amen. Before my topic, the Lord gave me, I'm going up and I'm taking you with me. Yes, God. Look yes, at somebody God. say, I'm going up. I'm going and up. And I'm taking you with and me. And I'm taking you with me. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. And as you keep reading this chapter, and I, I want to encourage you to go home and read it, because I can't read the whole chapter, but it's something else when you have a true friend. True friend ain't going to leave you. Amen. Helpless. Amen. That's right. And what I find out, Celeste, is some folks don't know what real friendship is. Come on now. So they can't do no better, Deacon, because they really don't know what real friendship That's is. That's right. That's right. And so we have a lot of people saying, I'm your friend, I'm Sit with down, you. boy. Till trouble hit. That's it. And then you'll find out they really you your friend. Y'all, I ain't going to be before you long. No. <laughs> and so when we read about Elijah and Elisha, they had a unique relationship. They had a remarkable brotherhood. And they had God-given spiritual connection and a connecting bond. Elijah showed Elisha something he wanted in himself. God allowed him to see that there was a great desire to be with him. And Elijah respected the anointing that God had on Elijah's life. And so many times people look at you and you need to ask them or you need to make sure they respect the anointing you have. Right. Amen. Some folks just your friend because you're anointed. Oh, uh, y'all are quiet today. Amen. Some folks just Amen. your friend. Have you ever met somebody, Lord, you got some change, they your friend? Uh, y'all act like I'm talking foreign language, but I know I'm real up in here. Every now and then you find somebody nope. that just wants nope. to be around you for what you have. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And here it is. That these two men, these two uh -huh. brethren, loved each other, but they respected the anointing in each other's <laughs> life. You, you, you will never receive anything from a man or a woman of God until you respect their anointing. Maybe I would say that again because y'all didn't even catch it. You will never receive anything from man, from a man or woman of God. Until you respect the anointing they have in their life. The power of God that resides and rests upon them. Amen. And you will only learn from people you admire. Amen. When Elijah, Elijah, when Elijah told Elijah to stay in Bethlehem, he refused. When he told him to stay in Jericho, he refused. That's right. He went with him all the way to the other side of Jordan River. Mm -hmm. And every time Elijah to, said to Elijah to stay somewhere, Elijah said, no. as the Lord lives, live. come on now. And as my soul lives, I will not leave thee. That's right. He was his mentor. Elijah was determined. Elijah was determined to stay connected to Elijah. Yes. Elijah's vision was adopted by Elisha. Come on. So the Lord told me some things to tell you in this year of 2024. Don't y'all know years are almost gone? Almost, yeah. yes. But there's going to be some people come around you that's going to be true friends. And then there's going to be some come around you just want what you got. Yes. Come on now. Yes. So the Lord told me to tell you a few things. And one of the things he told me to tell you all is, Know who your partner is. Okay. Right. I, I, you need to know who you're fellowshipping with. Come on. And if that spirit ain't real, sometimes you got to go a different direction. That's right. Amen. Wrong people can destroy your dreams. Yes. Okay. Your plans. Yes. And your progress. Yes. That's right. To your destiny. Uh huh. The right people in your life. Will accelerate you That's and right. celebrate you. That's right. Right people in your life will push you to the next level. That's right. And they will promote you and your blessing uh -huh. and assist you to your promised land. Come on here. 
Watch who you stay connected with. Right. And don't put your destiny at stake or jeopardize your call yes. for a friend. Yes. Or for a so-called friend. Mm -hmm. When you go up, not only those that you're looking at you, but those who are willing to go with you will go with you. Mm -hmm. So when you find somebody as you obey God that's resistant, sometimes you got to cut it off. Right. And let them do them. That's right. But allow God to keep moving you to the place and the yes. place He has prepared for you. Yes, yes, huh? Don't worry about those that are haters Amen. and procrastinators. Uh huh. Everybody can't stand the anointing you got. Come on. And everybody can't stand the new level God taking you to. Everyone don't see the direction you're going. Yes. So be careful who you get information from to That's take right. you to the next level. Amen. Amen. Everybody won't don't want to hear God. And they don't want to hear what God has to say concerning his promises for you. Yes. But today, in 2 Kings 2 and 8, there were 50 sons of the prophet. Mm. View this situation from afar. Uh-huh. And when Elijah smote the Jordan River with his mantle, the water parted. Come on. Only Elijah crossed the Jordan River with Elijah. God placed Elisha in a place where others could not go. Come on now. Come on. The blessings of God fell into Elijah's life. Mm -hmm. But the amazing thing is that he wanted to also share his anointing yeah. and his blessings with his brother. Hmm. <laughs> the matter automatically mock a man as a prophet yes. and a spokesman of God. Yes. It symbolized sacrifice and commitment. Hmm. The life of the prophet was not a life of luxury and popularity. The mantle represented the man's gift and the anointing that God had on his life. Amen. God has gifted each one of us to do what he has anointed us to do. That's right, yes. He has gifted us. Understand that your authority that God has, amen, placed in your life, know that the anointing can be doubled. All right. So don't settle for nothing less. Amen. Yeah. So often we get anointing and we get a touch from God. Come on now. And then we get comfortable. Yes. In where we are. Amen. But God has another level he wants to take us to. Yeah. And what I love about this story, and I won't be before you too much longer. What I loved about this story is that he was not willing to leave his no. mentor. That's right. That's right. Be careful when people just drop the ball every time you say something. Oh, every right. time you need their help, mm -hmm. they just drop the ball. Yeah. It lets us know that they're not ready. That's uh -huh. right. And when people are not ready to go up with you, mm. understand this. You got to leave them alone. That's right. But so those that good. want to go up with you, yes. by all means, take them up with you. Amen. Amen. Because so often, we hold on to people. Amen. When people that already let us go. That's right. But we want to hold on to them for our natural because don't y'all know God made us real natural? That's right. We're that's human right. beings. Amen. And sometimes they're hurt when folks leave us. Yes. But that's know that God will never leave us. Never. Knowing he forsake us. That's right. So that Amen. means when we're going to a place in God and people don't want to go, God is still there. Yes. And until he tells you to move, you just keep going in the direction the Lord has already ordained for you. Amen. I'm almost done. Give me like five more minutes, I promise. Jesus, Praise. hallelujah. There was a lady in the Bible by the name of Ruth. Uh-huh. Y'all know the story. Come on now. Come on now. And Ruth lost her husband. Uh-huh. Yes, she did. And had a friend called Naomi. Uh-huh. Ruth and Naomi. And she told Ruth she would never leave her after she lost Boaz. 
Ruth and, and Obed, his son named Jesse. And Jesse had a son named David. And Jesus Christ came through that lineage. I said all that to say this. That although they had a bum, all right. when one moved, the other one moved. They were connected not only naturally as relatives, but they were connected spiritually. In 1 Samuel 16, God had instructed Samuel to stop mourning and to fill his home with oil and be on your way. For I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem. I chose one of Jesse's sons to be king. Uh -huh. Samuel said, how can I go? If Saul hears about this, he'll kill me. Uh -huh. But the Lord told Samuel to take a helper with you and say, I have come to sacrifice this to the Lord. Yes. And Jesse did just what the Lord told him to do. Amen. And when Samuel did what I'm sorry, when Samuel did what Samuel. the Lord told him to do and instructed him to do, Jesse called his seventh son and his youngest son. And he said, He is tending the sheep. That's where's the second, where's the youngest son? He said, He's out in the field tending the sheep. But Samuel said to him, We will sit down until he arrives. They brought little David in to Samuel, and he was glowing with good health, and he had fine appearance, and he was handsome. Then the Lord said, Arise and anoint him. This is the one. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. From the day, from that day, the Spirit of the Lord came mightily on David. All right. I wanted to simply say this with that. Understand that the one you think is anointed, Come on be, now. Careful. be careful. Because as you read the story of Samuel, David wasn't even in the house. Come on here. David was out in the field. Yeah, he right. was. Obeying what his daddy told him to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. But God told Samuel, no. Uh -uh. I'm God means he came in his doorway. He had seven sons. All six of them were sitting there. Uh -huh. And all of them was older than David. Yeah. So age ain't got nothing to do with it. No, it doesn't. When it comes down to what God wants you to do, right. don't look at an age number and say, well, I can't use them because they're too young. I, uh -huh. can't, I can't use them because they lacking something. Right. right. Understand that Samuel was told by God, you, you just going to sit down. Come on. All right. Pastor, sometimes the pastor, we just got to wait on it. Come right. on now. He said, have a seat until the, the last son uh, come in. Uh-huh. After a while, David came in and the Lord told Samuel, he's the one. That's the one. That's right. the one. That's the yes. one. Yes. That's the anointed one. Uh-huh. A lot of times we look over folk. Uh -huh. That's right. Because we're thinking about prestige or we're thinking about their ages yes. or we're thinking about their color. Don't you know there is no color, no race in God's sight? There's he said, who is my mother? Who is my father? Uh-huh. The one that's the one that loves me, the yes, one that serves me. Yes. Amen. We gotta be servants of the Lord. Yes, it don't matter if it's a baby. If they can speak God's word, they can do what God told uh -huh. them to do. Allow them that privilege. Amen. Amen. I'm going up and I'm taking you with me. Come on now. Elijah and Elisha. Mm -hmm. Everywhere he went with his mentor, he oh, was yes. blessed. He was blessed. All right. Every time we obey God. Every time we obey leadership, we gonna be blessed. Yes, God. It might look bleak sometimes. Uh huh. It might look disturbing sometimes. Uh, hold on. But you hold on to God's yes, hand. God. Yes. Because there is a level uh -huh. that God is gonna take us to. And I said to Pastor Goose, ain't nobody mad but the devil. And that's why he's attacking the way he is because there is another level that God is gonna take you like to. And before I go, if you got time this week, I want you to look at mentors in the Bible. Uh huh. The mentors never left their protege. Never. Anytime you read in God's word about the mentors, mm -hmm. they always walk close. Yeah. Right. To those that was being mentored, the mentorees or the trainees. 
always stuck close yes. to their mentors. Yes. And they didn't leave them in a drop of a hat. Read the word of God. Uh -huh. When you read about Abraham, he mentored Meditech, Metacheste. Yeah, yeah. In Hebrews 7 and 1. Jethro mentored Moses in Exodus 18. And Moses mentored Joshua in Joshua 4. Yes. Samuel mentored Samuel. Saul mentored Samuel in 1 Samuel 2 and 13. Uh-huh. Paul mentored Timothy in 1 Timothy 1 and 1. Yes, he did. Daniel mentored Barak. Barak. In Judges 4 and 9. Yes. David right. mentored Jonathan in 2 Kings 2. All right. These are just examples mm -hmm. of people that have been with their mentors. Yes. And when you read their stories, mm. the end was always greater than where they started. Come on here. All That's right. true. All right. Don't ever just yes. look at your starting state and say, That's it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Look at your mentor. And you will see the glory of God through them and Amen. their anointing and watch God take you in with them. Amen. I've never read in my Bible where a mentor left somebody Amen. in the same state they were in. Yes, yes. I hope y'all caught that. Amen. I've never seen in my Bible where a mentor and someone that they were training uh -huh. came in the same way and left, left out the same, same way. way. That's right, that's right. So if you're still at the same state yeah. that you were in when you met me, uh -huh. something wrong with that. Wrong. <laughs> something wrong with that. If that Amen. baby never grows up, if she can't get that stolen, something wrong with that. That's right. There are stages God's going to allow you to go through. But Amen. you got to sometimes encourage your own self. That's right. Hallelujah. Don't look for folks to pat you on the back all yes. the time. Yes, encourage yourself. But you got to encourage yourself. You got to. Sometimes you got to say, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I'm the head and I'm not the tail. Come on now. I'm the uh, liver and I'm not the bottom. Yes. I'm the first and not the last. Yes. Hallelujah. You got to speak life. Life. To yourself. But I just want you all to know, stay by your mentor. Amen. Stay close to the pastor. Yes, Lord. Be obedient. Yes. Do what they say do. Yes, God. And they're going to take you up with you. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Great, great, great word. Great word. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, amen, Pastor. Send us home. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. After I said something to encourage your heart. Yes. Great word. Hallelujah. Sometimes you just got to press your way through. That's right. That's it. We ain't going to always feel great. But great is he that's in you. That he that is in the world. That he that is in the world. So the greater lives in us. Don't forget Friday. Don't forget Friday, saints. Friday. We'll be over there at Oasis of Hope. Yes. What's that? 26 Fondelac. 20, what is it? 2617. Yeah, Fondelac. At 7 o'clock. Yes. Amen. Amen. And when y'all go over there, please watch your steps this time. Please. Because there's an unlevel uh, ground Side over there, walks. sidewalk, right by the door, <laughs> and another unlevel thing. <laughs> so we want to make sure we really look at yeah, yeah, yeah. as we walk, okay? Please continue to pray for Pastor Gooch, um, Pastor Fry.